Hey, what is going on guys? So you have a Apple TV 4K and you have an issue where your Amazon Prime Video, it will, if you play a movie or a show, it will, you can hear the audio and you can see the subtitles. However, there's no video picture. It's a black or blank, blank screen, okay? We're gonna go ahead and get you guys up and running right now. All right, so first thing to do is, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go ahead and restart the Apple TV. Go ahead and grab your remote. You wanna go ahead and press on menu here. And then we want to go to the settings. And then from here, what you want to do is you just want to scroll all the way down to where it says system. Tap on your remote and then go down to where it says restart. Tap on it. Go ahead and let it restart. Once it opens back up, go ahead and open up uh, Amazon Prime and see if you can see the video. Okay, the thing is, if you can see the video, then try this, okay? Go ahead and turn your TV off and then turn it back on, okay? And if you have the same issue where you're gonna to have to keep restarting the Apple TV, then we're gonna go ahead and go to the next step here. Okay, so next step, you can see my Apple TV right here. You can see it's on by the uh, solid white light. Now let's do this. You see the uh, power plug? So it's on right now. Go ahead and pull the power. Just like this, wait for 10 seconds. After 10 seconds is up, Pop it back in here, wait for everything to boot back up, open up your Amazon Prime, and see if it is working. See if you actually have video, okay? If you're still having issues, then we're gonna to go to the next step. Okay, so, so for this next step, we have to go ahead and grab our remote, and you can see my Apple TV, you can see it's on by the solid um, white light. Now what, now what I want you to do is grab your remote, and what I want you to do is I want you to press and hold two buttons and wait till the white light starts flashing, then let go, okay? The two buttons is gonna be the menu button and the home button, okay? These two buttons right here. So let's do this together. We're gonna to press and hold both these together and wait for it to flash and then let go. Menu, home button, ready? One, two, three. Press and hold both buttons, do not let go. Let's wait till it starts flashing. It just turned off, let's wait. Oh, it's flashing, go ahead and let go. We just forced the Apple TV to restart. Now go ahead and wait for your TV to boot back up. Once it's booted back up, open up Amazon Prime and hopefully you guys are up and running. If not, we're gonna to go to the next step. All right, so for this next step, we're gonna go ahead and grab the remote again and we're gonna go ahead and press and hold two different buttons this time. Except this time what we're gonna do is we're gonna press and hold the menu button and the volume down button. We're gonna press and hold the same time and keep holding for about 10 seconds. After 10 seconds up, just go ahead and let go, okay? We're not gonna see no flashing on the uh, Apple TV itself. And what's gonna happen is after 10 seconds, after we let go of both buttons, the TV's gonna turn black and then it's gonna turn back on, okay? Sometimes it'll turn black and then you'll get another um, window on, on your TV and it'll say something like, if you, can see your, um, if you can see the Apple logo, click on OK. If you see the Apple logo, click on OK. For some of you guys, it's just gonna turn black and then turn back on and then you guys are gonna be good to go. Anyways, we'll do it together. It's gonna be the menu button, volume down button. We, the, uh, menu, volume down. We wanna press and hold for about 10 seconds and then let go. Let's do it together, okay? Menu button, volume down. Ready, one, two, three. Hold it for 10 seconds, seven, eight, nine, 10, and then let go. I got a black screen here. Let's see if I get a, uh, okay, see, mine just uh, turned on. Uh, it just turned black and it just turned back on. You guys may get a screen where you get like an Apple logo and a message will say, if you can see the Apple logo, click on okay. So if you do see an Apple logo, click on okay. Anyways, from here, open up Amazon Prime and hopefully you guys are up and running. If not, we're gonna go to the next step. Okay, so the next thing to do is this, okay? Because it's a possibility that it's something wrong with your, um, your HDMI port. So what you can do is go ahead and just pull the plug um, that's connected to your Apple TV and plug it into another HDMI port. And don't forget, once you do that, you need to go ahead and grab your remote or whatnot and you need to go to the correct input, the correct HDMI port, HDMI 1, HDMI 2, or HDMI 3. Anyways, once you do that, open up Amazon Prime, fire it up, and hopefully you're up and running. If not, we're gonna to go to the next step. Now, if you guys come this far and you keep having this issue where the black screen constantly happens, then guys, I gotta say, the most likely culprit is this right here. It's your HDMI cable, okay? This is a basic HDMI cable here, as you can see. And then when I upgrade it to a high speed HDMI cable, there's a braided one, High speed, I think it's like 18 gigabytes per second. Anyways, I put a link below where you can get this one. 
once I plug this in here, no problemo, okay? Okay, so if you did get the, HDMI, the new uh, high-speed HDMI cable, you guys should be up and running, okay? If you're not, or if you, you know, you don't, um, you, have, you have to wait for you to actually order the HDMI cable and you, and you wanna try another method, the last method I have for you is doing a factory reset, all right? And with the factory reset, just go ahead and grab your remote and then you wanna click on the menu and then we wanna go down. We wanna go down to settings again. So go to settings and then from here you wanna go down to where it says system. And then you wanna go down to where it says reset right here. And then you wanna go ahead and do a reset. Don't forget you do a factory reset. It's gonna reset everything back to factory default condition as if you just bought the Apple TV brand new and took it out of the box and then you have to start from the very beginning of the setup. You got to select your region, your country, your, put in your Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi password, you have to log in or sign into Amazon Prime Video and Netflix and all that good stuff. Okay, anyways guys, let me know uh, which step worked for you. All right, good luck.